What's up everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to create a simple illustration of a kingfisher. Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining me today. Let's get set up with our basic supplies which is a sketch pad and a pencil. I'm going to start this drawing off with this 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil with a 2D graphite stick. Now let's set this up with some basic guidelines. Starting with the line coming down the center of our page. We'll start at the very top in the middle. We'll lightly work our way down towards the bottom. And this line is going to help us align our drawing. Now on the top left side of that line, we're going to add a rectangle. Let's start up here and stretch this out across the left. Now this is going to define the size of the head. I'm going to come down the side with a shorter line and then pull that back in to create a rectangle. And we just want to capture the basic shape and proportions of this drawing. So let's start halfway down this line, come in, we're going to split that rectangle in half and we just want to stretch this all the way across towards the end of the beak. From the end, let's angle this up and then in towards the head. Let's add another line going all the way across towards the right. Now in this gap over towards the left side, we're going to draw a circle for the eye. So right about here, let's just lightly sketch that in. Go a little bit bigger along the top. Now from the end of the beak, come down and then in towards the bottom of the rectangle. Come straight down across the chest right about there. Now I just want to angle the body coming down towards the right. So draw a straight angle line coming all the way down towards that center line towards the bottom. Now let's go to the back of the head towards this line. Angle that same line coming all the way down towards the bottom towards the same height. I'm just going to flatten this off. Now if we're happy with the general proportions of the head and the balance of the body, let's start adding some more detail. We're going to start from this bottom left corner. I'm just going to angle the leg coming across. Let's draw a small rectangle across the bottom for the foot. And we want this bird standing on something, so we're just going to add a little curve going up across the foot and then back down. It's going to be standing on a little mound of moss. And we start developing the shape of this bird. Let's start by adding that lower beak. We start out here, bend this down, come straight in. Now this is going to blend into a trim going across the head and then down towards the shoulder. Let's round up the forehead. We're going to start up here, going up in an angle line. We're going to round up the top of the head. Let's round up the back of the head and then come down on top of the shoulders. It's going to smooth out the front of the head. Let's come down across the bottom of the beak, across the neck. Let's bump out the chest and just bend this down and then in towards the foot. Now the top of the wing is going to sit along the bottom edge of a rectangle. So let's start with a curve going across. Now you see the front edge, so we're going to round this out, come all the way down towards the bottom of the wing, and then in. It's right about there. And then from here, it's going to bend this out. It's going to blend this into the tail. So the tail is going to sit a little bit lower, coming all the way down. Let's extend the back. I'm also going to just round out the back, just getting rid of that straight line. It's going to give this tail a little bit of a flip on the end. Add a little bit of detail underneath the body, underneath the wing. Add some thickness to the leg coming down. Now I'm just going to add some rough detail to the foot, going up. Just adding those claws coming around. I'm just going to add a little wobbling line for the moss. Just want to get the general shape and texture and then fade that out. Now once we get to this stage, I'm going to go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines so we can get a better look at our proportions. I'm also going to take out the top of the eye. Now that we cleaned up our drawing, I'm going to go back and start adding some more details using this rough sketch as a guide. So I'm going to add a little bit of fur across the left side of the eye. I'm just going to brush that fur around the eye going across the top, just extending it out towards the side. Add a little bit more shape to the eye, a little bit of a trim, just pulling some of that fur coming out. Now inside the eye, in the center, I'm going to lightly add a small circle for the pupil. I want to add a glare, so from the bottom left, Curve this up and across. Let's darken up the center of the pupil. I'm also going to darken up the top of the eye, coming in towards the pupil, and then lightly shading the bottom to 
create a little bit of a reflection. Go back to just darken up the top just to separate the tones. And we'll darken up the bottom. And from here, just gonna start working our way out. Add a little bit more fur across the front. So I'm just using these little, almost like these check marks going across to add this little fur detail. Add some texture inside. And add a little detail across the top. Smooth out the top of the head. Just brushing the fur back towards the back of the head from the beak. And right here, it's going to separate the beak from the fur. Of the beak is slightly curved, so I'm just going to bend this up. And this bird has actually a long beak. I'm just going to go across and in. I'm going to split the beak on the tip and add a little bit of an edge to the mouth coming down towards the corner. Now I just split the beak along the top. I'm just going to separate this. Small gap, come down across the bottom. Now I want to darken up the tip of the beak. It's going really dark. And we're just going to fade that as you come in towards the head. Just a gradual fade. Do the same thing across the bottom. I want to go a little bit darker across the bottom just to help separate the two halves. Here, just gonna brush some of that fur going across the neck over towards the back. And a little bit of fur texture along the inside. Just going to the back of the head. Just gonna round this out and just brush this down towards the shoulders. Now this trim across the brow is going to come around and then down, going around the cheeks. So just going to pull this line going up, add a little bit of fur texture, coming down towards the shoulder. Now I'm just going to add a little trim going out towards the top of the wing. And add some more texture across the top. And you see that I'm just feathering the detail coming in from that harder line along the outside towards the wing. Darken up the bottom. I'm going to go back and just lightly erase the underlying sketch, just cleaning this up. And this is something that I'm going to be doing throughout our drawing. Just going back and just cleaning up our drawing, adding more detail and going back. And I'm just going to add a little bit of fur across the top of the wing, coming down. Add some texture across the top. Now I want to separate the wing. So there's a separation point right about here. I'm just going to softly bring this in. Another bump coming around and then down. So there's these layers of fur going across the wing. Now along the front, we're just going to curve this around. separate the feathers coming down towards that first layer and we're just going to bend this back up. Add another layer coming down. Now you see that I'm just sitting up across that guideline because I want to add a second layer underneath. So just tucking that up underneath just like that. Working our way down towards the bottom and then there's these long feathers across the bottom coming down 
and just pulling that up. So we're just fading these feathers up across the top, just giving the impression that these continue up across the top of the wing. And just working our way back towards the tail. And then just continue to add some more texture. And just work our way down towards the tail. Separate the feathers on the tail. And then again, just going back and cleaning this up. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of texture across the front of the body just to break up that straight line. So anywhere we can add a little bit of interest and detail. Even if it's not 100% correct, for the purposes of the sketch, it's totally fine. I'm just going to cover up the majority of the foot with some of this moss. Add some rough detail going around. Again, no need to get too detailed with this. Now I'm going to the side edge of my two millimeter pencil and just add some lighter tones. So I just want to separate some of these sections in the head. I'm just going to darken up the top, going across the brow. Now after we've done this, we're going to come back in with a smudge stick and just smooth things out. Just darken up the base of the head. The tones get a little bit darker across the back. And in terms of lighting, we're gonna always position the light across the top of our character coming down in an angle. So the shadows sit along the bottom right edge and the highlights will sit along the top. Let's also place a light shadow across the bottom of the neck. Fade that down. So there's a light and shadow coming across from the beak, going across the neck, casting that shadow across here, and just bending that down. Also adding a darker tone across the top of the body, across the shoulders, fading that out. Also adding a little bit more tone across the wing, just across the top. I'm just going to fade that down. A little bit of shadow underneath the body from the wing. And adding a light shadow underneath each of the feathers and in between. And I'm just going to scribble in the moss detail. Going a little bit darker across the top and then fading that down. It's almost like the body's casting a shadow across the ground. Now I'm gonna grab my smudge stick and add a little bit of softness to our shadows. So we're gonna start with the beak. I'm just starting across the front shadow area and pulling that across. It's almost like painting with our shadow and our graphite. Just softening up that shadow and then fading that out. So you see I'm starting in the middle and just pulling that in towards the white areas. Also softening some of that detail across the belly. Pulling some of those tones in towards the wings. Let's go back to the head. Starting from the front, we're just brushing the fur going back from the eye. Now we can extend some of those tones across the top of the head. Thank you. 
Now that we softened all the tones and shadows, we're gonna go back and add another level of detail. So just enhancing some of that fur and texture on top of the soft shadow. So starting along the top of the head, we're just gonna add that fur and that feather going across and really sharpening up our drawing again. Just adding a few more separation points across the wing. I'm just going to add a few spots across the wing, just very lightly.
Now I'm gonna wrap up my drawing by adding a little bit more detail and contrast and always be sure to sign my artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of the Kingfisher. I encourage you to keep practicing this layering process by locking in the basic shapes and proportions first before we get into the details. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I wanna thank you for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one. What's up everyone and welcome to our club memberships. Are you ready to take your art skills to the next level? Well, I've got something special just for you. Introducing our channel membership, starting at only $1 per month. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you'll get exclusive access to a world of bonus features and perks that will enhance your journey with me. As a member, you'll be treated to brand new weekly tutorials that are available only to our valued members. Want to learn the latest techniques and dive deeper into the topics I cover? This is your chance. You'll also gain access to our member-only community feed where you can connect with fellow members, share your progress, and participate in exclusive polls. Your voice matters and I want to hear from you. And let's talk about the perks. You'll receive a set of custom chat emojis to use during our live streams and premieres, adding a personal touch to your interactions with me. Plus, you'll proudly showcase your support with special member badges that highlight your dedication. As as a member, you'll get access to future perks I roll out. I'm constantly working behind the scenes to bring you even more exclusive content, surprises, and experiences. So join our channel membership today and become a part of our exclusive community. For just $1 per month, you'll unlock a world of premium content, engagement, and fun. Click that join button now and let's embark on this exciting journey together.